the Honeywell HPA 100. This unit is quite small. It's only about 14 inches tall, 14 inches wide, and about nine inches deep. The unit weighs in at about seven and a half pounds. This unit features a HEPA filter and a carbon filter. There is no pre-filter on this unit. The air moves in through the air purifier, through the front grill. It then goes through the carbon filter, then through the HEPA filter, through the back of the unit and up and out of the unit. The outlet is on top here, uh, right behind the control panel. This unit features four fan speeds, low, medium, high, and turbo. Honeywell labels the fan speeds in a bit of a strange way. They label low as germ, general clean as medium, and allergen as high. We're not sure why those fan speeds are named in that way, but rest assured that low is low, medium is medium, and high is high, and that is all that those different settings do. They only change the fan speed on the unit. This unit outputs at about 100 CFM, and it retails for about $100. What do we like about the HPA 100? Uh, we certainly like the five-year warranty uh, from Honeywell. That is a substantial warranty for a product at this price point. We also like the fact that the unit is made of black plastic. Other air purifiers on the market tend to have a white color and sometimes, many times actually, have a glossy finish. The matte black finish here keeps the unit looking clean. Air purifiers in general tend to pull in a lot of particles in the room, a lot of larger particles, a lot of larger fibers and hairs and things of that nature. These things tend to build up on the outside of the unit. They tend to collect up top on the sides and so on and so forth. Uh, this unit being black and having a matte finish gives it the ability to stay looking cleaner longer. Of course, you do want to wipe it down. You do want to clean it frequently if you can. But just the fact that it has that black finish is something that is convenient for users that are not able to clean it as frequently. We also like the fact that the unit is very small and light. It also has side pocket handles here on the side of the unit that allows you to easily pick it up, move it around. It's very light. Again, seven and a half pounds is not much and it's small enough to fit in a lot of spaces. Uh, that is definitely a strong positive for this unit is its portability. We also like the fact that the control panel lights can be turned off. Uh, that is something that is simply not true for many air purifiers on the market. The fact that the Honeywell HPA 100 gives you that ability to hit the dimmer switch and turn off all illumination is definitely a strong positive for this unit. We also like the fact that this unit comes equipped with a HEPA filter. Now units in the size class, units at this price point, often do not come equipped with a HEPA filter. And the fact that the HPA 100 ships with a HEPA filter, is equipped with a HEPA filter, allows you to replace the filter in there with a HEPA filter, is definitely a strong positive for a unit at this price point, at the CFM. It's definitely a great feature. What we don't like about the HPA 100. Now we have two primary concerns. First is poor energy efficiency, and second is the unit's noise output. Uh, we'll talk about that later in the review. Comparing this unit to other Honeywell branded air purifiers, the easiest comparison to draw is with other HPA series Honeywell air purifiers. This unit is actually the smallest of the HPA line. The HPA 200 and the HPA 300 rounds out the HPA series. Now the HPA 100 features one HEPA filter. The HPA 200 features two and the HPA 300 features three. Those three air purifiers all share the same HEPA filter. The filter is just duplicated on the larger units. Now keep in mind that those filters are not stacked in front of each other, but rather next to each other to increase the surface area in there for those higher CFM units. And that is obviously the biggest difference between the three units is the fact that this one has the lowest CFM, the 200 has about 200 CFM, and the 300 has over 300 CFM. The bottom line is for reasons that we'll outline in just a bit here is that we do not recommend any of the HPA series. Uh, they are an option for certain users and certain applications, but for most users, we simply cannot recommend them. Comparing this unit to some of the best units out there, we have to talk again about the poor energy efficiency and the poor noise output. So let's use real life, real world examples to demonstrate this. To get to 100 CFM, the HPA 100 here has to be set to its max setting. And of course that max setting is turbo. On the turbo setting, this unit draws about 50 watts of power and its noise was measured around 70 decibels. To get to 100 CFM on a top rated unit, now, most of our top rated units are around 250 CFM, so more than double the CFM on max settings. So for those units, you don't need to set them to max settings to reach 100 CFM. Obviously, you can set them to lower settings. 
So setting those top rated units to 100 CFM, which equates to this unit on its highest setting at 100 CFM, uh, on those top rated units, we see only 10 watts of power draw and we see less than 50 decibels of noise output on similar settings. So again, the HPA 100 has to be set to maximum settings to output at 100 CFM. On those maximum settings, it draws about 50 watts of power and noise levels are measured at around 70 decibels. Larger units, top rated units on the market can be set to a lower setting to equal 100 CFM. At that setting where those units output at 100 CFM, they draw less than 10 watts of power and they output at a noise level that is under 50 decibels. So at exactly the same CFM, this unit is gonna draw five times as much power and it's gonna be 20 decibels noisier. And that is definitely a strong negative for this unit and it's the reason why we cannot recommend it. Now it must be said that this is not a problem that is unique to the HPA 100. We have tested other smaller units at the same CFM that have the same problem. And the problem lies with the size of the unit. As you can see, this is a very small unit and the outlet up here is very small as well. So what you have is you have the unit pushing a lot of air through a small outlet. And at 100 CFM, it's pushing all that air on turbo through the small outlet. And that makes for high noise output. So a larger unit with a larger outlet is going to be able to push that same amount of air through here at 100 CFM, but it does so through a larger opening on top here. And because of that, the wind noise is much less. And that is why you have so much less noise output on the larger units. Uh, the energy efficiency is another thing. On this unit, it really has to be pushed to its limits to accomplish 100 CFM. Top rated units can be set to lower, much more energy efficient settings uh, to accomplish that same CFM. So again, this is not a problem specific to the HPA 100. The HPA 100 is just a good example of how smaller units at lower CFM are simply not a great choice when you can buy a larger, much higher CFM unit for not much more, and you get the benefit of that high energy efficiency, low noise output on lower settings. So for example, in a small room where you might use this unit uh, at 100 CFM, uh, 100 CFM is sufficient to lower particle concentration in a small room, let's say 150 square feet or lower. Uh, at 100 CFM, this one has to be set to turbo. In that small room, you can also use a larger unit and you can set that one to a lower setting so in that smaller room, you can run that top rated unit on that lower setting and you can accomplish the same level of particle filtration at a much lower energy cost and at a much lower noise level. And that is something that simply won't go away if you compare 100 CFM units to approximately 250 CFM units. And that is the reason why we recommend those 250 CFM units in general and not just compared to the HPA 100.